I will show you the top five Sudoku mistakes to avoid. And if you don't know mistake number five, you will probably get stuck on this puzzle. And with that, it's solving time. So mistake number one is under scanning. So you're not scanning enough. If you start scanning just for the ones can go, you would notice that you could put two ones right there. There's only two places in block two for it to go. However, look again. You might notice immediately that you have a one and a two in row three. And the only two spots those two cells can go are right here. So you can immediately mark a hidden pair. I call this double scanning. And by double scanning, you can find more hidden pairs like this one, two, and solve this puzzle so much faster. Greetings, friend. Christmas Duets is my latest puzzle pack. And this second puzzle is perfect to show you the top five Sudoku mistakes to avoid. I want to thank Yoshi Baroshi for making all of the amazing puzzles for this pack. So mistake number one is under scanning. Mistake number two is missing patterns. So you notice you got the one, two there, and this ends up now being a five, seven, a five, an eight, and a nine. And with this nine, eight in column six, you can solve that for a five, leaves you with a nice eight, nine naked pair. And give your eyes a chance to view the entire starting grid. You might notice there's a lot of symmetry here, the way Yoshi put these digits in the grid. You caught this one, two hidden pair. Can you do it again? Well, sure. Look here in column seven. The seven and eight are both in column seven. Four digits here in block six. The only place the seven and eight can go right there. That's another hidden pair. You want to mark that right away because you put restriction in these two cells. And you know you have just a one, six, and a nine that can go in those three cells. It's a locked triple. So these three cells can only be one, six, and nine. You can restrict it from all other cells in the block and in the column. This cannot be a six. So you're noticing now, you know, you can mark ones right here and you can mark the sixes to these two spots. Getting a lot of restriction here. Can you do it again? Look down here in the bottom. Sure enough, the five and the six cannot be in these three cells. They can only go in those two. So mark that hidden pair. And that leaves you with a one, four, seven. And so now you're finding quickly restrictions in this puzzle. The four can't go there and you can do this with the fours. Also notice this one, two being right here. This cannot be a one. And you can now mark ones right there if you want. And you can mark the sevens restricted to these two spots. Okay, try it again. Three and a four. In column three, they're now restricted to these two cells. So you can put the three and the four right there. And this gives you a nice two, five, and a nine. But if you see the two, five right here, you can solve that cell for a nine. Leads you a two, five naked pair. You might be wondering what the 3, 4 is here and why it's in a circled cell. So the circled cell, if you solve this for 3, uh, that digit value equates to a common Christmas song phrase that's found in my puzzle pack. So if it's a 3, you would eliminate phrase 3 from the final solution. If it's a four, you'd eliminate phrase four. Whichever the six phrases in the pack are remaining after you solve all five of these puzzles, that's your final solution. But you gotta be a Smarty Party member if you wanna get the rest of this pack and get a shout out. So, went through the first two mistakes. You do wanna spot these patterns. And now mistake three is missing pointing and claiming pairs. So, you might be tempted to Follow my solving method and look for digit restrictions one through nine. And if you had no other information, that would make sense and be a good choice. However, look at how much information you have by spotting those hidden pairs and locked triples. Because they act as pointing pairs and claiming pairs and triples. Block five is empty. You might think you can't make any solves here. However, if you notice that you have a three right here and a pointy pair of threes right there from the hidden pair, plus two threes here, 
you can see that a three can only go in this spot right there. And then the fours act as a pointing pair to go with this four and a four here. You can solve for a four in block five. And now with the eights, pointing pair eights here, and this eight, you can solve for an eight right there. And so you're making all of these solves in block five. And now you might want to go to digit restrictions one through nine, because there's not much else in block five if you're looking for these pointing claiming pairs, but that would waste a lot of time. It brings me up to mistake number four. So mistake number four is missing the next solve. I also call this impact on row, column, and block. I learned this idea from Thomas Snyder at Sudoku Con 2025. Once you solve a cell, you want to see where your next solve can be. Look at that impact, row, column, and block. So you'll notice here now, you only have one cell remaining, right? Because you put the nine right there, this has to be a one. So you can solve that for a one. And you can remove the one from right there. But you're not done. Because you notice with this four, you can solve this now for a one and solve that for a seven and solve that for a four. You come back to see the crime. Yes, you solved the one here, but go back to the block and look in a different direction. You go down here, one, four, seven. Now go up. Well, this eight allows you to solve this for a nine and solve that for an eight. Okay? And stay back in here. Now look in the column. You have a two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. You need a one and a five. Well, with this one, this has to be your one, this has to be your five. Now you can look at the impact and notice five here, two right there. Okay? Look right here, you just need a two and a six. Well, with this two that you just solved, there's your two and there's your six. And now you can disambiguate the nine, six right here. And if you look right here, you'll notice one, two, three, four, five, six. You just need a seven and a nine. Well, these sevens act as a pointing pair for mistake number three. That's your seven. That's going to be your nine. Look at all the progress you made by going back and looking at row, column, and block. And this brings me up now to mistake number five. I know you want to start marking. You want to go through digit restrictions one through nine. Instead, remain curious. So mistake number five is missing naked singles. If you can find cells where there's only one possibility remaining, a naked single, these are terms I cover in my free Sudoku solving guide. You're going to make so much more progress than if you just went looking for digit restrictions. If you start looking for digit restrictions, you mark up this grid, something fierce. You create so much clutter that you'd have to remove. Instead, just study the heavy house intersections. So by being curious, you'll notice you have five digits filled out here and five digits filled out here. So look at this can be in that cell. And the same thing, the way this grid set up, you'll notice along columns three and seven, rows three and seven, all of these cells, and someone reminded me, I'll make these orange so it doesn't conflict with the marking. These are the heavy house intersections. There's likely to be a naked single in one of these. So what can be right here? You notice you got a one, two, five, eight, nine in the row. And you got a three, four in the column. So that can just be a six or a seven. You go right here. You're looking for three, four, six, seven. Six, seven are in the column. So that's going to be a three, four. How about right here? One, four, five, six, seven. Gives you a two, three, eight, nine. But you have the eight, nine in the column. That can only be a two or a three. And you go to list one. And you'll see of the two, three, eight, nine. Well, you have a three here a nine there and a two there, you can solve this for an eight. This is a naked single eight. If you find this versus doing a bunch of marking, you can go back to those other mistakes I talked about and start making some solves very quickly. Notice we only looked at four cells. You only had to look at four cells. And what's the impact now? By putting an eight right there, and I'll remove these colors, You can notice with this eight and these two eights, you can solve for an eight in block one. And then with these two fives and this five, you can solve for a five right there. And then 
which you might notice after doing the five, is the sixes. You have a six here, six here. This creates a pointing pair of sixes. They're restricted the same row in block one. Follow the sixes over here, and you can solve for a six pretty quickly. Okay, go back to the scene of the crime. How about the nines? This nine and that nine, you end up with a pointing pair of nines. Not a big deal until you go down here and see what's the impact on this column. I call this an almost heavy house. You have four digits filled out plus a pointing pair of nines. So it's really five digits creating restrictions in these two cells. If you look at this cell right here, you'll notice it now can be a one, can't be a two, can't be a three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and it can't be a nine because of the pointing pair of nines. This is another naked single one. Awesome. And now when you find that, look at the impact, row, column, and block. Come back up here to block one. With these ones now, you can solve that for a one. You can disambiguate the two and the one right there. You now notice you only have two cells remaining in row one, a two and a nine. Well, the two's right here. So that's your two. That's going to be your nine. You made all of these restrictions just by looking for naked singles. But you're not done. After doing that, look where the ones can go. Because you put a one here, you're back now to block seven. With these ones, you can solve for a one here in block nine. And then you put more restriction on row nine because of that one. You need a two, five, six, and nine because you have a one, three, four, seven, and eight in the row. But you'll see two, five, six all go right there. That has to be your nine. And then the two and the six repeat. That has to be your five. So disambiguate the six, five right there. Solve this for now for a two, the remaining digit there. Look at all those solves you make. And now look here in row seven. You notice you just need a two, three, and a nine. And since you have a two covering this cell and the nines cover these two cells, you know you can solve that for a nine. This has to be your two and that's gonna be your three. Now follow these up with these threes. And this three cutting across, impact, row, column, block. You can solve that for a three now. Nice. You only have two cells here. You want to focus on the greatest restriction. You just need an 8 and a 4. Well, there's your 8. So here's your 8. Here's your 4. Look up the block, right? Go up to the next block. Well, you just saw the 8 there. So there's the 8. There's your 7. You create a full house. Go right up to the next block. You know that has to be a 4 now. This is a full house. 8 of 9 cells filled out. This has to be a 5. It leaves you with just a seven and a nine. Well, this nine, pull it over from the row. There's your nine. There's your seven. And now you can solve that for a six because you just solved the seven with the four. That's got to be your four. This is going to be your seven to finish block one. And you notice now with this four, there's your three and the circled cell is a four. So now you know you can remove phrase number four from the puzzle pack and you got 20% of the pack solved. Click on the link in the pinned comment if you want to join the Smarty Party. Get the rest of this pack and new packs every month. Sharpen your mind, prevent dementia. I would love to have you join the Smarty Party. Three cells remaining here. You got a one, two, four, five, eight, and nine. You just need a three, six, seven. Six and seven right there, seven repeats. Solve all three with the neat naked triple trick. There's your three. Seven has to go here. Your last cell is a six. Now, see if you can avoid making any of those mistakes on this next puzzle. Thank you so much for watching.